good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is to wherever you're at. Hey YouTube, this is 91 Cav GT coming back at you again. Hey, uh, so I've been working on a new subwoofer build, but this one is not what I did before. What I did before was a budget build. <clears throat> it's not going to be the case this time got a new subwoofer uh, that definitely is not considered a budget subwoofer at all I mean not in the least bit uh, so it means a new box build well this got me thinking what do you what do you use to attach your wood whenever you're building a subwoofer box <clears throat> Now, of course, most people are going to use Baltic Birch or MDF. Uh, if you're really on a budget, particle board, hey, I've been there, done that. Um, some people just straight up plywood, you know. But what do you use to attach the wood together? Do you use wood screws and then just go back and just caulk and seal all the edges? Uh, what do you do? Uh, I've done all kinds of different ones, all kinds of different ways, I should say. And the way that I have done for a few years now, and it's worked really good for me, is with gluing and brad nails. And that's it. But wood glue and brad nails. Now, this subwoofer that I'm using for this build like I say, it's not a cheap sub at all. At all. So, without further ado, here is that sub. It is a Savard IQ 12. Now, this is a beefy, beefy 12. Let me check that out. So many tinsel leads. I mean, look at the size of those. That's just beefy. It's just awesome. See the forest coral in there. I mean, I mean, I can't wait to get this in there. <laughs> but this can handle some serious power. It's rated for, I believe, 17, 1800 watts of RMS. Listening to <clears throat> the owner, uh, Savard, he basically saying that you know, 2,000 watts, okay, go for it. As long as you got clean power, you know. So, with that strong of a subwoofer, with that much power handling, is wood glue and brad nails going to be enough? Is it? That's a good question. Well, this is the box that I'm building, and unfortunately, as you can see, I mismarked. Now, luckily, I only attached this one side. This is actually going to be for the port right here. These are actually hand holds, there's going to be covers here. It's going to make it a whole lot easier to pick up and carry the box. This is going to be the terminal cup down here. Once again, this is going to be covered. But it's all going to be sunken in. So that way, if you got something rub against the outside, it's not going to catch anything at all on the box. But, this is not going to work. This is not going to work at all. So I'm going to have to completely rebuild this piece here. So I figure let's destroy it, but not with a puny hammer. Let's get, now we're talking. So we're going to destroy this. We're going to destroy this piece to see, is it going to fail? On this joint or is the MDF gonna fail I don't know 
Because as you can see, the only thing that's holding this together is just wood glue and brad nails. I don't know how well you can see, but there's a brad nail. There's one, three, four, five, six. There's seven brad nails holding that on. And brad nails are very small. Let me open up a brad nailer so I can show you. For those of you that don't know what brad nails are. <clears throat> There's my brad nailer. Now these are some two inch brad nails. You see how tiny that is? Right there at the end of my fingernail. That is one brad nail. Now this is two inch. Two inch is not in there because it would go completely through. For that, I'm using one and a quarter inch brad nails, which are still loaded in. See right there. So that's it. So is that gonna hold together with a subwoofer that's gonna be this strong? I don't know. My other boxes that I've built in the past, for example, this one here. This box actually goes underneath my seat in the Kia Nero. Might be kind of hard to tell, but this box is built using brad nails and wood glue. And that's it. Great little box. I'm gonna re reuse it for a different subwoofer. But just brad nails and wood glue. So, is brad nails and wood glue gonna be enough to hold it together? Is the joint gonna fail? Or is the MDF gonna fail? So, let's see. <clears throat> so, let's try it out. All right, here we go. Okay, one strong hit, and the joint failed. Look at this. You can actually see. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That actually took a layer off of the MDF. That's rough right there. see a couple of spots where I didn't have enough wood glue yeah there's definitely a few spots where I did not have enough wood glue but the wood glue itself did not fail might be kind of hard to see but that actually took a layer off of the MDF so the MDF actually failed not the wood glue not the wood glue. Interesting. Well, this definitely shows that there were some leaks and I didn't have enough wood glue right through there. That's why you still need to go back and resell your boxes just in case because I definitely did not have enough there. Not only took one swing to knock it apart, but hey. Now we know. Now we know. So, so what do you use to put your boxes together? Do you use screws? <clears throat> do you use nails? Brad nails? Staples? What do you use? So, post up. Let me know. This is the next project. And it is coming along. Not as quick as what I would like, but typically the case. But there she is, guys. It's a hard high Q, 12 inch. That's the next sub. Y'all have a good day. God bless y'all. We'll see y'all next time.